Here, Brewing Company here. Welcome to my beer library where I do beer reviews and a beer vlog and make beer and talk about beer and other alcohol drinks. So check those out. Today, I'm trying something very cool. I love the, um, I, a while back I saw a Devil's Backbone Brewing Company uh, can. And it's an outdoor scene. I'm an outdoorsman through and through and I bought it. And the beer tasted pretty good. And so I saw another one, and I was like, oh my gosh. So we're going to be trying Devil's Backbone Brewing Company 8 Point India Pale Ale. Woodsy, crisp, and citrus notes. You can see the scene. It has a big buck on it. It's like right outside someone's front porch, but in the woods where I want to live for the rest of my life. Um, so 6.2 aqua volume, IBU 70, color gold. And sh 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 Lexington, Virginia. Let's see this. All right. So right away you get that hoppy, strong, hoppy smell that is common with IPAs. So you can tell it's an IPA just from the smell. You can see the, uh, the color is like you didn't drink water all day and you took a pee right into a cup. That's what color it is. Good carbonation though. So you get a lot of hops, but you can actually, it kind of, smells like two different hops like you smell and you can kind of smell one hop is kind of like soury ish and then one hop is just really strong not bad not bad now as you guys know I'm not a true IPA fan. I uh, often prefer the porters, the stouts, the ambers, the lagers, um, Oktoberfests, stuff like that. So um, hop, uh, IPAs to me kind of taste bitter, um, like kind of like a grapefruit is what they say to like me, or um, pine needles, something like that. Um, however, this tastes like hops to me, uh, and it, it's, it's kind of the same as the smell. You get two different flavors of hops. So that your first taste is like a dull hop sensation in your mouth, and then when you start to swallow it, um, then it kind of kicks up a notch and you get a, a really strong hoppy taste as it's going down kind of grapefruitish but not too not that bitter so they did hit it right on the nail when they said woodsy that is a good um that's a a good description of this it's it's very woodsy uh so it's it's not bad for an ipa um i've had better i've had a lot better but i've also had a lot worse um for those of you who are IPA drinkers, like you're like, I love IPAs. A few of my cousins are, like that's all they drink. Um, more power to you, but you would, you, would, you would really enjoy this. It has a, a complex flavor to it, to where it's not like you're drinking uh, a run of the mill IPA that is just pure grapefruit taste. So give it a try. Um, now grading it as an IPA, as I always grade things. So from zero being the worst IPA I've ever had in my life, and uh, 100 being the best IPA that is out there, I would give this a 62. Uh, so I do think that they could have. I mean, if I'm I'm not quite sure what the theme of the uh, the eight point is, um, the deer. Uh, what that has to do with the drink not positive at all maybe maybe there's a story there I don't know it's not on the can um, and I bought this individually so it didn't come in like a, 
a box or something that you can read the box. Uh, I like things that I always name my beer what flavor note is in there. Um, so like, let's say uh, smoked out smoked porter, okay? Or smoky smoked porter. Um, it's a smoked porter. So like that's how I do my stuff. That I'm not judging them. They do whatever they want. It's their, it's their brewery. Um, if you've never seen these, like I said, they have a few that are outdoor themed. They're only like 75 cents per can at your local grocery store. Um, go pick them up. They're worth a try. I'll, I'll say that. It's worth a try. Uh, so go try them out and try something you never had before, like I did. And let me know in the comments if you uh, if you like this uh, or if you've had any of their other, other uh, Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. If you've had any of their other beers and you're like, dude, you got to try that one. So have you heard of this company? Have you drank any of the other stuff that you like? And do you like this one? Leave that in the comments. Cheers.